Hi, in this tutorial, I will discuss about how you can add multiple content exporter to a Sling model. Suppose you have a requirement, uh, you want to export a component or the Sling model content in JSON format as well as a uh, XML format. So one simple solution is you can write two components with the same kind of data and one can export JSON and one can export XML. But there is a better solution provided by Sling, right, uh, AEM. You can add multiple sling content exporter to a single model so how do you do that let's uh, discuss let's directly jump into uh, demo okay so for that i created a component same as uh, i created in previous video just the name is different so what is that component uh, the component has title description date and one multi-field okay so there is a backend sling model so how do you add that you know how you write you know how add uh, content exporter to add a at the rate exporter annotations but rather than adding a at the rate exporter annotation we have a annotation called exporters if you want to add more than one okay so exporters right inside that annotation you have an option to add multiple exporters how do you do that okay now you add a exporter now you can give the value of first exporter two fields are mandatory as i mentioned and extensions right so let, let's add in first we can use checksum an extension is JSON now how you can add the second one just give a comma as we do for other properties and add another one exporter right name uh, uh, our custom annotator uh, exporter like X XML and extension is XML right now you can use add any other options as well it's up to you right you can add a, a extension in selector like let me add some custom like a G geeks json okay and here i can write and if you want you can give uh, the options as well as you give for others as means previously right but I'm not giving you you know how to give this option so just to understand uh, the intention here is to let you understand how you can add multiple you know exporters for sake of understanding I'm just removing it because you know how to add exporters uh, these options okay so that way you can add multiple exporters but you have to add annotations separately for both and uh, you know exporters right for xml exporter you have to add for root element you have to add uh, this root xml root what, what was that root element and the name is uh, what name i can give is multi root And let me add some other annotations as well for this so i have added annotations xml annotations for all the methods and after you know deploy uh, if you reload this the whole uh, content is exported to xml and the same way let's export is what was the selector is uh, geeks json and the extension is JSON okay and now the content is exported to XML uh, sorry JSON as well so if you can uh, you know modify this content you can add uh, a few uh, JSON related annotations as I explained in tutorial number 19 uh, let's add few annotations 
we so have updated annotations if you check in root node i have added a xml jxp related annotation as well as jackson annotation so whenever uh, uh, it will export it to json it the root uh, name tag name or property name will be json exporter and the root name will be xml exporter in case of xml the same way i have added both annotations so you can identify this so that this property title the name would be json title in case of json and for the xml it will be xml title the same way i have added so i'll give this code to you guys as part of my uh, github web you can get that code from there let's build and check okay so let me refresh this if you check uh, root element is not available because you understood because for checksum we have to add a option to enable root element i did not add that so that's why this is not available I explain that clearly in tutorial number 19 uh, let refresh this okay so the ex exporter is xml because i added xml exporter here root node uh, root this one so this is the name of root tag and rest of the tags right as i give xml books xml tag in the same way you can see here itself so let me explain that as well why the root node is not available even i have already explained in uh, tutorial number 19 but let me explain one more time so to uh, uh, you know enable root node in json exporter you have to add options and there is a one option uh, called uh, export option uh, name serialization uh, wrap root value and this value should be true so when you pass this value this will enable uh, the root name let's build it okay after refresh if you see as I add that option now this uh, this whole uh, data or the content is under one key parent key or you can say parent object whatever you want to call it and the name is what I defined at root level or this one okay so just to summarize uh, you if you want to add more than one exporter uh, content exporter first of all you have to add uh, uh, a annotation called exporters not exporter inside that you can add multiple exporter as you want two three four as per your need right so each exporter can have a separate options right and separately as i explained in previous two tutorials so in now in that way you can export your sling model content in a different format so now i'm formatting as part of this tutorial in json as well as xml so if you have any question please do comment if you think you got some information or knowledge please consider subscribing thank you very much